room is eating their lunch. So he wants to be a part of that. So anyway, uh, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let him go back. All right, there you go. Go out. He is going to be a big boy. I expect him to get probably 90 to 100 pounds. So he's going to be big, but it'll be really fun. Um, and if you're looking behind me, you might see some quilts on the wall. Those are the new carnival flower technique of the month. Um, we have been in the video studio a lot over the last few weeks. We've been filming um, training videos for our certified shops and instructors on how to make this quilt. And then they're gonna turn around and offer that to you all to learn how to make it as well in workshops. So we've been doing that. Um, I have been helping prep people for Quiltworks University, which is in Tucson, Arizona at the end of January. If you've never gone to anything like that, those are super fun. Um, I think there might be one spot left. So if it's something that you were interested in attending, I'd get signed up ASAP and you can find more information about that on our website. Maybe I can switch over and show you real quick where that's at. Um, but um, let's see, on our website, if you go under Quiltworks Events and go down to Quiltworks Mesa Tucson 2023, you can scroll down. You might have to go down a little bit to find a sign up button, but um, here's a sign up button right here. And you can also scroll down. Um, we actually have another one happening in September of next year at Madeline Island, which is in Wisconsin. It's actually an island in Lake Superior, and the campus there is just beautiful. Both of these campuses are amazing. Um, but you can find all the sign up information for Quiltworks University there. And the super fun part about Quiltworks University is that you get to custom design your quilt. So we give you a lot of blocks that fit into a specific space. <clears throat> and in this quilt, for example, has a center diamond, then a diamond border, a 10 inch square that fits inside of there, and then a squared up border. And then from there, there's options to add different types of borders or turn it on point, add queen um, size borders, or even go up to a king. And um, you can, anyway, choose your blocks. And then you get to choose from a wide variety of fabrics that are offered from the shop. And you can create your own. Or you can come in and see quilts that I've created using all the fabrics and the different blocks available for the class. And you can make those um, if you like those options as well. So um, anyway, it's super fun. It's a week long. You stay on site. You can sew as long as you want at either of these locations every night. You can sew as early as you want in the morning. We have an on-site shop that comes and um, they bring fabrics and I go with mom and she um, teaches with some instructors. So we bring along some certified instructors with us. And then I work with the shop and I actually sit and design quilts for all of you while I'm there. And I color them up in Quiltster in fabrics that the shop has. And then we custom design kits that people can buy. So um, anyway, if you're ever interested in going to a Quiltworks University, you should do that. I did the Quiltworks University video earlier this morning to help them learn how to use Quiltster. Um, after I'm done here, we're going to get set up in the back room behind me. So I'm going to go back to me for a second. So we're going to get set up again back here and turn on all the videos. And we actually have a live guild meeting. Um, we're going to do a presentation and present um, and then show a bunch of quilts to the guild later this afternoon. So it's a busy day. 
at QuiltWorks. Um, let's see. It sounds like everything is going pretty well for streaming. It's 12.58, so we're just a couple minutes away. Uh, and what we're going to do today is um, prep you for the good night star. Um, and so what are you going to learn? I am, someone just asked, what is Quiltster? This is my first time at your group. So I'm going to show you Quiltster today in the context of planning a quilt for the good night star. I'm also going to show you where and how you can buy a quilt. I'm going to show you um, a couple other things that you can do to get notifications as a reminder for how to access this video or the videos for the class in the future. And I'm going to show you where you can get the pattern. So uh, we're going to go through all of that and then I'm going to explain to you what you do once you get that pattern so that you know how to um, be prepared for class with Judy. So um, that's what we're going to do today. And I think even though we're, you know, maybe 30 seconds ahead of ourselves, I think that I'm going to get started here and um, we'll, get, we'll cover it up where we'll get it all covered. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to go over to the website and I'm going to go to Facebook. So I've had a lot of people send us messages and ask, how do I sign up for the class? So there's really no sign up for this class, but if you go to the quiltworks.com website or Facebook page, sorry, let's get it loaded here. So there is, um, you can find our events. So over on the side, um, and I don't know actually if yours is set up quite the same way as mine because um, I have an admin view. So wherever the events are listed, um, find those. And let's see, upcoming events. I'm not even sure where you guys can see it. <laughs> so. I wonder if I can view it as you guys. Um, like is your page, like, share, create page. I'm not sure where I can view that, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna click on our events anyway, and then I'll show you in that event um, that you can go follow the event that we have. So the Good Night Star Online Workshop with Judy Neymar. You wanna find that event and you want to follow this if you haven't already and then you'll get a notification of anything that it'll tell you um, your event is coming up don't miss it right uh, the other thing you can do is um, I'm gonna go back here and maybe I'll do it all right I'm gonna show you this a little bit different I'm gonna go to <clears throat> the quiltster page because I'm not a admin on their page. So I'm gonna to go to Quiltster just because I wanna show you how you can set it up for notifications. So on Quiltster, I, if, and you guys can do this on my QuiltWorks page as well, go to these three little dots down here. And if you click on that, it'll say, it'll have some options here and you can click following. And then under following, you can choose how you wanna follow us. So under notifications, you can go to video and you can say all notifications. So now I would get um, all notifications of videos that Quiltster would post. So you can do that same thing on our page and get notifications for um, any of the videos that we post live on um, Facebook. And the kind of cool part about it is that um, you know, if you don't wanna be bothered by it, you don't have to do that. And you can just come look us up because it's gonna be saved there anyway. But you'll actually get a notification on your phone that says here is the, or Quiltworks is going live or Quiltworks just went live. And then you can have an option to tap into that if you want. Um, so that's one way you can follow. You can also go to our YouTube channel and you can subscribe to it and you'll get the same sort of notifications. So 
when I went live on our YouTube channel, a lot of people got a little pop-up that said that QuiltWorks is live. So that's why I have a bunch of people joining me there is because they got a notification because they subscribed to the channel. So those are the different ways that you can get a notification of the class that we're putting on. Um, so let's see. So the next thing I wanna show you is buying your pattern. So I'm gonna go to the QuiltWorks website. Oh, I always click on the wrong spot here because I'm watching the video at the same time as I'm doing this, but I need to be in the website screen. So under products and patterns, you can come in here and it's on the first page because we just republished it with the new cover sheet on it. You can click on the good night star here Hi, Joy from Lake Fork, Texas. Thank you for joining us today. So in here, if you click on buy now, this will take you to a place where you can buy just the pattern. You can also buy the Goodnight Star replacement papers. Um, and that means if you wanted to make a second sample, you could reuse your instructions and you could just get papers and make another quilt. Um, and if you want to also go to, um, let's see, we don't have it listed yet here. I'm gonna talk to Janie about that. Um, but the Goodnight Star replacement papers are listed here as related products. We also have a digitized quilting design that is the same exact one that's used on the quilt on the cover sheet. And that has also been published as well. So I'll get that link put here under related projects or products as well so that you can access that if you're interested in having access to the quilting design. Um, and then the next thing you can do is you can click on under Quiltster, you can click on Marketplace. Now this takes you out to the Quiltster website. And Quiltster is a different... Um, company, but Quiltworks has all of our kits listed there. So someone had said, what is Quiltster? So Quiltster is a an app and it's not a Quiltworks product. It's its own thing. And they have um, the ability to put in a quilt picture. Now it has to be approved by the designers. So the designers are the only ones who can authorize in, in putting um, the information into the system and then you can go in and add fabrics and color it and see what it's going to look like in different fabrics so that's the concept of quiltster but they also have a marketplace so a lot of um shops or sellers now have accounts through quiltster and you can go out to quiltster and you can see what kits are available from the different sellers um, for the patterns that you want. So I was on our website, I clicked on, um, let's see, I clicked on the Marketplace button under Quiltster and that brought me to a page that shows you a whole bunch of different Good Night Star kits that have been designed by either Quiltworks or other sellers in the system. And each of them have different things going on. Some of them cut the kits out for you, some of you cut the kits or some of them cut just yardage, some of them have free shipping. So you kind of got to click around to see how the different sellers offer things up. But um, in general, you can see a lot of them listed there. So someone asked a great question, can Canadians purchase on here? So that is coming very soon to Quiltster, but at the moment you cannot purchase through Quiltster as a Canadian. I expect that in the next couple months though, in the meantime, if you want to get a kit from Quiltworks, you can contact Quiltworks. So I'm gonna put our phone number here in the comments. 406-393-2646. Um, that's the Quiltworks phone number. So you can contact Quiltworks and you can let us know um, that you want to purchase a um, one of the kits um, now they have to be ones that are sold by us and then we can process that order through Quiltworks directly because we can send from send to Canada from here. It's just the app doesn't have the international purchasing um, piece finished yet. 
Um, you can also contact other sellers. I'm sure most of them will ship to, at the very least, Canada and probably many other international locations as well. So if you see another kit on there by a different shop, you can always click on um, that shop information and you can um, contact the shop directly and see if you can get a kit. You can send an email to info at quiltworks.com as well, but that's gonna take us a little bit longer than if you um, were to just call into the office and get it processed. Cause you're gonna have to call in anyway so that we can process that, um, process the credit card payment over the, over the telephone. So um, let's see. So as you can see, there's several different kits listed here. Um, Quiltworks has the uh, main colorway that we did out of the Tula Pink fabrics. And then there's also several others that are Quiltworks. If you wanna narrow it down by seller, you can click on Quilt Shops over here on the left and then you can choose the quilt shop that you want to choose. So I'm just gonna choose Quilt Works because that's easy to see um, how it works. And then you click into the project. Um, you can read up information about it. And then you can choose a kit with the pattern or if you already have the pattern, we have fabric only kits as well. You just click add to cart. It adds it to cart and you can put in your credit card information. If you have a Quiltster account already, your credit card information is in there. And I can explain to you why you might want a Quiltster account here in just a bit. I just wanted to show you how you can access kits. And like I said, you can get those from any of the sellers that are in Quiltster. Um, and there are also a number of shops who um, are selling and kitting them themselves and offering events even where they're gonna have like a come watch this video with us at our store. So you might even get in touch with your local quilt shop and see what they have as well. Um, so uh, I showed you where to buy the pattern. I showed you where you can find kits easily from a lot of local quilt shops that sell through the Quiltster Marketplace. And now I'm gonna show you what you can do if you want to design your own. So Quilt Works has the Goodnight Star into Quiltster. So for this portion, you need to have a subscription, but I'm gonna click on Quilt Planner. I'm already logged in, so I don't have to log in myself. Um, I'm gonna click on Create New Project, or I don't, so if you have to set up an account, you can do that at the top. There will be a Create New Account button. And it's $9.99 a month or $99 a year. So if you just wanna go in and play with it for a month, this is a great option for you. Um, it's easy to cancel right next to that, in that same location there will be, I have a picture in mind, but some of you may just have a little quiltster in Blum <coughs> after you play with it. And before the month's over, you can go in and cancel the plan if you want, or you can get an annual plan or whatever you would like. And, um, you can see some different options. All right, someone said the view is blurry. I don't know if everyone's seeing blurry views. I decreased it to 720 um, to try and keep it a little bit um, easier for them to, to process. But it does look like our upload bitrate did drop a little bit for some reason here. So um, maybe that'll recover itself. I'm not sure. Um, someone else said they're having a sharp view. So all right. So I think hopefully it's just in, intermittent and it will correct for you here. Um, and I like those comments from you guys right now because one of the reasons that I'm doing this version of the video um, is so that I can work out any little kinks so that it's working great once we get to the um, the actual workshop on December 2nd. So let's see. All right, so back to your account. So now you know what you can do with your account if you wanna just try Quiltster out. It's $9.99 to try it out. You can go in and design your project. You can cancel it or you can continue on and use it for other projects as well because I'm telling you, it is super, super fun. I love this program. 
So we're gonna click on, we're gonna go back to the quilt planner. I'm gonna click on create new project. And then I'm gonna type in goodnight star here in the search. And there's the pattern. So I can click on that. Um, I'm gonna click customize. And the cool part about this, so I can start with a completely blank project here, or I can start with one that has been pre-colored. So one is done with a quilt work strip set. The current one we have out right now is called a Huckleberry strip set, and those are batiks, and there's 48 different fabrics in there. So this one, and the pattern covers how to use this design with a strip set as well. Um, in addition, there is the Tula Pink version down here, and then there's a completely blank one. So I can start with, um, so I can start with any of these options. And just for purposes of this, um, for this demonstration, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with this Goodnight Star in Tula Pink. So I click Customize and I'm gonna say Custom Chudel Goodnight Star. Now, why am I starting with one that's already got fabric in it? Because I want to show you guys a really cool trick and this will make it very easy for you to plan your project in your personal favorite fabric collections without having to sway from the pattern. So I could click on any of these blocks. So you'll see that they're linked different ways. Um, and part of that is so that um, it, it just helps you prevent um, having to click as many times if you could click and get some different blocks that are tied together. Um, the way we put this in originally, um, you can see oh, if I click on this one, this block over here on the left matches with this block over here, but I have different colors in those. So you're gonna have to pay a little bit of attention to that to make it match what's on the cover. Um, and that's partly because we've done this quilt lots of different ways before, but you can always click this unlock button and now you can just get a hold of these blocks one at a time and work on them one at a time if you want. So I'm gonna, um, actually I'm gonna work with it unlocked because I wanna be able to self-select the blocks. And I'm also gonna come in here on yardage and do something else here that I think is a fun trick. So I'm gonna, I wanna do this in grunge. Um, so we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna first find our blacks and our whites. So here's the black tulip pink and the white tulip pink. So I'm gonna click on that black tulip pink it's gonna open up a fabric selection box here. So I'm gonna go find, <coughs> excuse me, Moda. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna choose, um, well, actually I'm gonna go this way. And I'm just gonna scroll down to grunge. So there's a few different grunge collections in the system. So first I'm gonna start with the basics. So I'm just gonna go with Grunge Basics 2021. And now I have all of the um, grunge open. So now I can choose a dark and I can choose a light. If I wanna see more fabrics, I just click more and that'll continue to open up options in the system. So I'm going to, I'm gonna choose this one. It doesn't matter to me really which one I'm choosing here. So I'm gonna choose that for the blacks. So now that's gonna go into the project and replace that black color every place I saw it. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna choose again for the whites. So I'm gonna go choose a grunge white. <clears throat> okay, so now I have those switched out. So, Next, I think I wanna use the grunge polka dots to replace the tulip pink polka dots. So we used a big polka dot and a tiny polka dot. So what I'm gonna do for the tinies is use a solid, and what I'm gonna do for the bigs is use the big polka dot from a grunge collection. So 
I'm gonna start with the polka dots because I wanna make sure that I match my solid to the polka dot color and there's a lot of options there. So I'm gonna start with my polka dots. I'm gonna go back up here, choose my collection, go to grunge, hits the spot. And I'm just gonna choose a nice red polka dot. And then I'm gonna go find my big orange polka dot, which is right here. And I'm gonna find an orange polka dot. And then my yellow polka dot. Find a yellow one. And then my green polka dot. Load some more options here so I can find a nice green. And then I'm gonna need a blue polka dot. I like that one. And then I'm gonna choose a purple polka dot. So now I know what grunge dots I'm gonna use. So now I can go back on the solids and I can switch out the solids. So I'm gonna find my red and then I'm gonna go switch the collection. Let's see, grunge basics. And I wanna choose a shade of red that's a few shades off from the one that I already picked. So um, that way I don't get too much um, that way I still see a little bit of contrast in those. So I'm going to load some options here before I make my final decision. And I think I'm going to choose, I think I'm going to choose this one here. Okay, then I'm going to do the same with my orange. And I just want to make sure that my orange is enough different from the one that I chose. And if I don't like it, I can always go back and switch that out again. So that one's a little bit too close for me. So I'm going to go find it and I'm going to switch it out to something a little bit lighter. Okay. And then we'll go find our yellow. And then I'm gonna find my green. My blue. And my purple. Okay, so I've just switched this entire quilt out to grunge from Tula Pink, and I did that very fast. Um, so that's one way you can custom design your quilt, and that keeps it following the instructions of the pattern exactly. Um, and then you can save that out, and um, I'll show you how to get all of your yardage information for it. So I'm gonna actually go out of the project to do this step just to show it to you. So it's right here. So I'm gonna click into this and I'm gonna go to print view. As soon as that's done circling and saving there, Okay, so when I scroll down here, I can see the yardage by fabric, and I can see 3 8 3 8 3 8 3 8 so all of my rainbow colors are all 3 8 of a yard, and then I see my black and my white as 3 and a half. and if you guys 
look at your pattern, that actually is exactly what would be on a pattern. So for those of you who have a pattern and hold on, I have one here. So I'm just gonna pull this out and show it to you really quick. So transition. So you can see on the back there, it's three eighths for all of the rainbow colors and then three and a half for the black, let's see, for the black and the white here. So you can see we did a good job making sure that our um, pattern looks the way that, um, or our quilt looks the way that the pattern does. Um, so this gives you yardage in three different views. So first there is by fabric, and that mostly gives you the total yardage, but it also kind of shows you how it might be broken down. And then it gives it by block, and we're gonna talk about this in just a second, and then it gives it to you in by group. So by group has all of your fabrics organized in order. So you see A1, S1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then there's another group that has A1, S1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's several groups here that you can go through and it, kind of helps you organize your fabrics. Um, but we're gonna go back to by block because by block actually shows you, so on this blue dot fabric, we have one, two, three, four, two and a half inch strips that we need to cut. So they, they are for S2, S3, S4, and S7. So I wanna draw your attention to something on this because um, this could be a little bit confusing and we do this in, and I'll explain to you what, what the difference is. But in the pattern, if you look at that, for the blue, let's see, where are we at? S2, it says S2E, S4E, S3D, and S7D. So Quiltster doesn't have the A's, B's, C's, and D's on it. And the reason why is because it doesn't know which group to make A, B, C, and D. It just, um, because we forced it to um, break the colors down. It thinks all of those are basically the same block. So because that's the case, um, hold on just a second, I'm gonna, well, I'll set this aside. We don't put that A, B, C, and D on it. So you are gonna have to go back and reference your pattern to get all of your A pieces, all of your A strips together, your B strips together, and so on. So just for purposes of explanation, these four blocks here, the red group, that's your A group in the pattern. The, the ones that start with orange in the center, that's your B group. The ones that start with yellow in the center, that's your C group. The ones that start with um, or have green in the center is your D group. The blue in the center is your E group and the purple in the center is your F group. So that's how you work that down or work that in. And then I'm gonna go back to the block. So these are things that you can figure out from Quiltster. I'm just explaining how to find that information easily. So let's go. <coughs> back into here and I'm just gonna unlock this and click on one block and now I can click here and up here see it says S1 so since those have the orange I know that that's the B so I know that I need one S1 strip and then I know that I'm gonna need an S2B and an S4B strip out of that orange with the polka dot and then the yellow with the polka dot is gonna be an S3 strip, S3B, and an S7B. And then the light yellow or the solid yellow is an S6B and an S8B. And then the green is an S5B and an S9B. So it's pretty easy to find this information out if you have your Quiltster um, information and also a pattern sitting in front of you. 
um, I'm just helping you to kind of get an idea about um, what you're doing here. So in order to prepare for class at the workshop, you're gonna want to use that by block guide in your quilt design. And if you have a pattern, it's all written into the pattern. And if you bought a kit from us, we um, it's also written into the pattern and we've also labeled our kits. So let me switch back here, I'm gonna show you. So we have actually gone through the effort and most of the kits you buy from everybody else should be the same way because a lot of them know how we kit them. But we have gone through the effort to actually add the labels. So you can see, let's see, where's our camera here? I'm kind of going backwards. So S2A, S4A, S3F, and S7F. So it says I need one two and a half inch strip for each of those. So what you're gonna do is cut four two and a half inch strips out of this piece of fabric and that's and then you're going to put one of those stickers on each of those strips and then organize your a group your b group your c group your d group your e group and your f group all together so you'll have all your a pieces s1 to s9 in one package all of your b pieces s1 to s9 in another package and so on and um, that's what you're going to do in preparation for the workshop and then out of your black and your white if you bought a kit it says fabric let's see where are we at here there we go fabric a1a six 12 and a half inch strips and bg1a three 16 and a half inch strips so from this yardage you're going to cut six 12 and a half inch strips put those all together and then put the a1a label on it and you're going to do the same thing for the three 16 and a half inch strips and put the other label with it so that's how that's what you need to do is just cut those strips everything else we will take care of in class um, if you want to prep papers that's going to be helpful also because um we she will probably give you a quick tutorial on that, but um, we won't be able to cut all of the papers during the workshop. So to cut the papers, so you're gonna find your newsprint, which is here. So this is what your newsprint looks like. So you'll go in and cut out your foundation sheets. So if I open this up, see here well I actually I'm trying to make it so you can see one full foundation sheet I don't know if you you can't quite see one but this foundation sheet SS1 here at the bottom let's flip this over so you're gonna cut that out and you're gonna cut about an eighth of an inch away from the edge around that whole unit don't worry about cutting right on the edge at this point in time because you don't need to do that and then she'll show you how to use a cutting template so in one of these pages let's see if I can find the little guy okay here we go so on this sheet there's some cutting templates so see that one that says SS template strip piecing um, so you're gonna use that template um, you're gonna cut out all these templates and these you can all cut out right on the line as long as you cut carefully for now um, and um, because you're gonna trim right on the line however you use them for your um, pattern. So, um, so yeah, you're gonna cut out those templates and then she's gonna show you in class what to do with them. Um, but the most important part is to get your strips set out or your strips cut out. And as long as you had one group of your papers that would probably be fine she's not gonna have time to make all the blocks in the quilt obviously but i think she is gonna have time to show you how to make one full group let's go back to the so one color group if that makes sense oh okay so she'll show you for example how to make the four red ones um, and part of the reason why we'll do, be doing four is because that's the way the papers are set up is to do four at a time. So um, if you don't have a kit and you're prepping it, 
You'll probably want to go through the effort to label your fabrics accordingly and um, get them all organized. And cutting the two and a half inch strips will be a big help for you to actually maybe sew along with us in the process. Um, the video is definitely going to be recorded, so you won't have to um, um, so you can come back to it as much as you want as you're making the quilt. And um, we will be able to get to a point where she adds the, um, the background pieces as well. Uh, we just won't obviously be sewing the whole thing up. So anyway, I am super excited for everybody to join us. Um, I'm gonna show you another quick thing in Quiltster here which is how to work with it if you're gonna start with your own colorway. But um, in general, now you should know where to purchase your pattern, purchase your kit. Um, Quiltworks still has quite a bit of, in fact, our fabric should be here tomorrow to cut the outstanding uh, Tula Pink kits. Uh, we have three or four people who have ordered them and we were waiting for our shipment of fabric to come in, but I just got news it'll be here tomorrow. So let's see, let's go back to create new project. And then we're gonna search for good night star again, because I'm gonna show you that you don't have to even follow the um, design that we created here. You can do it a whole different way. And Quiltster is gonna give you all the correct yardage and it's gonna tell you um, everything that you need to know for how to cut your strips out. And then you're just gonna have to reinterpret it a little bit with the pattern for, um, for the project. So we are gonna choose, we're gonna make a, Let's do, I'm gonna to go to Timeless Treasures. I'm gonna make an all blue one. So I'm gonna use a collection of ours just because I'm familiar with it and I know where it's at called um, Blueberry Tart. All right, so I'm gonna choose this blue for these big squares out here. And I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna actually go into the Wallflowers collection and choose a light blue to go with it for the um, background. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna choose this one here. It's got kind of a, slight faint rainbow of colors. And then I'm gonna choose, let's see. I'm gonna unlock it so that I can choose all of these at the same time because I want them all to have the same background color. And then I might change my mind later, we'll see. But for now, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna choose that same light and then I'm going to go back to the Blueberry Tart collection. And I'm going to start here with this, the white in the center. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go in order of lightest to darkest. And I'm going to color every single diamond differently. And you don't have to do it this way. I, this is just the way I'm going to do it because it seems fun at the moment. Okay, and I'm gonna press save. All right, so that's just one way and it's a really simple, fast way to do it. And you can still see Quiltster's gonna come in here and give me all the yardage I need. So I need five and a half yards of the air and I need a half yard of each of the blue colors and then two and an eighths yard of the royal, which was the blue I used around the outside. And then I can add backing and binding and get yardage for that. 
I can also click on the buy block and it'll tell me how to cut all of those pieces for my project. Um, other fun things you can do. I'm just gonna show you how this works. So I'm going to unclick it, choose these four blocks in the center, and then down here at the bottom it says rotate. You can rotate those and create squares and you know create full stars there instead if you wanted that look out or if you wanted that look to your project instead of the star in the center um, you can also rotate you could rotate these stars out if you wanted I mean there's lots of different ways you can play with the layout to see what you like the best. Rotate back. And then if you wanted to start playing around with more background colors, you could do that as well. So like I'm gonna go in here and choose these. And then I'm gonna go choose a different background color. So. And then if I want to choose yet again, I could go in and maybe even make this one darker if I wanted. Blueberry tarts. Anyway, there's lots of things you can do and I'm just showing you this for demonstration purposes. Um, it's super fun to play with and see what different um, designs you can come up with. And um, I mean, I've done so many different combinations of colors here. We can, I can probably pull up some options here. I'm going to save this out. I'm going to leave this project. I'm going to go out here to gallery. So if you go to gallery, these are projects that people have shared publicly so anybody can see them. And I'm going to type in good night star and see what options pop up. So you can see there's several colorways that different people have done of good night star here. Um, you can also go to, um, well, I'll just show you some of mine. So, I've done, I tried to stick with the rainbow theme for some of the kits that we're doing, but here's one I did. This one I did for myself. So I actually designed it for someone who came to um, Shipshawana, or not Shipshawana, where we were in Texas at Stitch in Heaven, at the Stitch in Heaven Quilt Works University. Um, we're going to be back there in the spring of 2024. So if you want to go visit Stitch in Heaven, that's an awesome time to come see us. And um, I did this. We picked, she picked out that bear print and she wanted me to design something that showed the bear print off. So this is what I came up with um, because it had these big squares in the background and you could see the bear print easily in the quilt. And so, I mean, Again, this is just an entirely different way to color the project. And I liked it so much that I decided to buy one for myself. So I actually have one of these that I can make on my own. Let's go back and see what other ones we can find. Um, good night, star. So 
So there's the Tim Holtz ones. Those ones are listed on the website right now. I did one out of Inda Batiks and a Tonga Batik one in rainbow that's it's very similar to the Tula Pink. Um, these ones are also Batiks um, using a different strip set that we had. And um, then this is the one, let's see, what's this one? Not sure if this is batiks or oh yeah this is another end of batik version so i think this is maybe the first one we did where we created the rainbows and started playing with this concept so that one's out of end of batiks and then here's one that i did um, also super cute so i'm going to tell you some tricks here um, but I did this one and I wanted all of the squares to be stars instead of having the corners being the triangle. So if you want to do that, you have to order a, um, you have to order extra foundation papers and then you wouldn't make the big squares in the corner. You'd make blocks instead. So, um, that's totally doable as well. It's just the same thing. And then I just started playing with different ways to make the to to use fabrics and the stars to get different looks for the stars so um each one of those groupings obviously is a little bit different so anyway there's lots of fun things you can do with this project um let's see i'm going to come back to me and um i think we have covered everything we talked about where to buy the patterns we talked about where to get kits. We talked about where to, how to use Quiltster, and I showed you a couple different ways. So I'm gonna try and get back to, I'm like all over the place here. So I can see comments. I'm assuming that Elisa's kind of been helping me um, answer questions here. And if not, I'm going to talk to, I'm going to look at some of these. Um, someone said, will this video be posted to watch again later? Yes, this video will be posted to watch again later. And I'll also share it to the event page. Um, and then you can also, um, and all of the videos that are the one video that we do to teach you this, which should run for three hours. I believe we're gonna be able to do that video in three hours, so it'll be from one to four. And that's Montana, well, mountain standard time is what it is. And um, that one will be available for you to watch again later and come back to any time. Um, can you mix fabric manufacturers? Of course you can. We do it all the time. Um, you don't have, you can mix batiks and cottons and in Quiltster, you just have to switch, like you just have to go up and find a different collection and um, find a different manufacturer and you can mix and match it all. You can even upload your own fabrics and I don't have time to show you that today, but if you go to the Quiltster YouTube channel, she has some videos on there that show you some ways where you can put in your own fabrics and then you could um, see what it's gonna look like with things out of your own stash. So. The best way to do that is to have a scanner and to scan the fabrics in and then you have to save them out as a square and you have to put in the correct dimension um, for the fabric but you do that under the fabric stash button and if you tune in or if you look on the youtube channel for quiltster you'll find some video information on that um looks like elise got some of those questions answered as well can you use ombre fabrics I think ombre fabrics will look amazing in this. Um, you can, we do have some ombre fabrics loaded in Quiltster. Whether or not it's gonna grab the exact spot on the strip that um, you would use if you cut it out, that's questionable. So it might be hard to get Quiltster to show you exactly what it's gonna look like if you use an ombre, but you can certainly um, you can certainly test it out that way in Quiltster and just know that if you're going to be fussy cutting or moving things around a little bit, it might not look exactly like what your picture looks like if you're using ombres. But I think this would be such a fun quilt to do with ombre 
fabrics um, because you could cut across that whole strip and just and cut all of the diamonds out of one piece. I think it would look I think it would look amazing. So I would love to see somebody do that. If you do it, please share the finished project with us. Um, let's see. Um, you mentioned strip sets. Are some of the pattern options non-paper piecing? So none of the pattern options for this project are non-paper piecing. Um, you That's the whole... Um, concept behind quilt works is we do paper pieced projects and so we've pre-designed all the strips we've pre-designed we we have a paper piece strip piecing process and we also have um um we also have all the templates pre-designed so that everything fits together exactly the way that um, you want it to go together it's a great um, accurate way to do it. Um, it's a pretty simple process once you learn and it's also the same strip piecing process that we use for a ton of our other patterns that are Lone Star designs. Um, I didn't, I forgot to mention if you do want to do it, if you want to do this with us but you don't want to do a full size project, um, the full size quilt, we do have some that are smaller so let's go back to our website and the smaller ones are in quiltster as well so you could open them up and you could color them and plan them just the same way um, we've done before so products patterns uh let's see let's go down to so there's the good night star if we go to the next page you might have to go a couple pages i'm not sure exactly okay so twinkle star so the diamonds the diamond blocks in the center of twinkle star are the same size i'm just going to click on this so this is the same exact size diamond as in the um good night star so we would teach you how to do the foundation piecing for just the center we don't have time to do these new york beauty blocks but um or the border pieces but we could at least get you started on twinkle star if that was a project that you wanted to do um and then the other one is called star baby so star baby if you're reluctant to spend the money on the bigger project but you just want to try it out and see how it goes star baby is my recommendation because it's the exact same block it's just one block and it only creates just one star and then you add a simple border. So you could get into Star Baby. This design is $23. The fabric kits are very um, small, so they don't cost a lot of money. If we go to, um, and it's the same exact block. So, oops. So if we go to the marketplace in Quiltster and Quilt Kits, star baby so here's some star baby kits um, that are available as an option that you could you could try out and see what you think um, this is one I just listed and you can see it's with the fabric only it's $42 a kit that includes the pattern is 65 so for $65 you can have a 40 inch square little project here and so there is some ways that you could participate with us and it wouldn't be as um, it wouldn't be as expensive as buying the bigger kit if that was something you were reluctant to get started on um, once you get that process on, once you understand that strip piecing process um, I mentioned that there's so many other quilts that quilt works has I'm going to go back to the website one more time that use it so if I click on products and patterns the same process that we're going to teach you just with a three diamond a star that has three diamonds is also used in prismatic star um, Andromeda sparkle um, it's used as part of the elements in um, Wild Goose Island. Uh, let's see what else. It's used in these little, there's in the cinnamon sticks pattern, the 10 inch square blocks. It's used in Congo Star. 
So anything that has a lone star in it from Quiltworks Diamonds in Bloom is using the same techniques. Um, the diamond here and the or the center and boughs of holly has some of that same technique in it. So we use it all the time. Um, so once you learn that technique, it it can be applied to many of our designs. Fortune teller. Um, I'm just looking through to see which ones have the strip piecing process in them. Peaceful snowfall uses it. Um, it's just different size blocks and different applications and placements of those strip pieced. Um, blocks, Christmas cactus. Um, yeah, so it's a great technique to be introduced to and it makes it much easier once you open those other designs to know what you're getting into. Prism Table Runner uses it. Um, Mermaid's Tail. Um, yeah, so you can see on each page of our patterns here we have lots that use them. Oops. Refresh. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, Moon Glow Cactus, Wintergreen, Lakeshore Sunrise, Tattered Star, all of those different designs use that same piecing process. Sedona, so, um, so yeah, you can, um, that's a great way to get started on a lot of our designs and see how it goes, let's see. In Quiltster, I only see eight colorways for Goodnight Star in the gallery. Is this because only eight designers have made their designs public? Yes, that is correct, Sue. That is why you only see eight of them. Only eight of them have made them public. If you look in the marketplace, you might see some that are different variations of others. Um, but yeah, you can only see the ones that people have chosen to make public. Um, I should probably put some of some of mine out as public designs as well just for creativity, but I forget to press the share to gallery button quite a bit. Um, let's see, would someone have that bare fabric kit? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody's going to have it kitted, but someone might have the bare fabric. Um, and there are some other prints in, that have come out, like some lines from Island Batik that use that bare fabric or use similar bare fabrics as well. So it wouldn't be too hard to open up Quiltster, um, look for some Island Batik fabrics that have the bare prints in them. You can actually do a search on um, the internet and probably find a SKU for it search for it in Quiltster or just put it in and you could probably come up with something that you could create by your, for yourself and um, either look around and buy the fabrics or talk to or see if you can find a shop that has some of it. I will say, I mean, just for um, purposes of figuring it out, I bought it from we got it. Stitch in Heaven was the one who had it. So if I go to Stitch in Heaven's website, um, we could just see. I'm just curious if they even have any of the fabrics left because it is something that you could probably contact them on because they do have the um, they do have all of those original um, kitting sheets because they were the ones who cut the kits. So they might have, um, they might be able to get you something close even if it doesn't have that same fabrics in it. Um, I was just gonna look here real quick and see if I could even find the bear. But um, anyway, that's basically how you can use quilts to do it. And I mean, Stitch in Heaven will probably be like, why is Judel saying everyone should call us for the bear kit? But Hopefully someone from there might be watching and maybe I'll give them a warning. I don't know if they have any more of it or not, but if they did, I know that um, they have the kidding information and they could probably get close on all of the rest of the pieces. Cause I mean, I just picked coordinating leaf and brown fabrics to go with it. Um, they might've sold out of the bare fabric too <laughs> because I think we sold three or four of those, but look, they have some, 
here's some moose fabric and some cool leaf fabric. So I don't know, maybe they could come up with something. Um, you might want to talk to or do a special request for Tina if you decide to call them and tell them that I told you that because she would have a best, she would be the best person to have some idea what I'm talking about. But I did get it from there. Um, and I don't know who else has it, but you might just search around online and see if you could find some. So that was really the critical piece of that kit and everything else was just greens and browns. So um, anyway, I think I've answered everybody's questions. Is there anything else that somebody wants to know before we end this conversation for the day? Now's your chance. Looks like that's kind of um, where we're at. So um, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, I hope to see you at the December 2nd event. And if you can't make it, just tune in later. We'll have it all saved and available for you to watch at that time. So um, I'm excited that this is all working so well for us now. And um, we'll see you on the 2nd. Thanks, everyone.